the shortest path from R1 to all other routers in the network shall be determined. We start with router R1 and go to the neighbor routers R2 and R3. We take note of their distances to R1. If we go from R2 to R1, we have the distance 4. If we go from R3 to R1, we have the distance 3. The router with the lowest distance is selected and marked, that is R3. If routers have been marked, they are not considered anymore in the following because optimum path for them have been found and cannot be improved. Now we go from the last marked router R3 to its neighbor routers R4 and R7 and determine their ways to R1. All not yet marked routers, that is R4, R7, but also R2 are considered. The least distance router is selected and marked. This is R2. We go again from the last marked router R2 to its neighbor routers R4 and R5 and take note of their distances to R1. The new way from R4 via R2 is better than the old way from R4 via R3. Therefore, the cheaper way is noted for R4. The router with the lowest distance is selected and marked. At this point, there are two possibilities. R4 or R5 can both be selected because they have the same distances. We select R4. We now go from the marked router R4 to the only neighbor router R6 and take note of its distance to R1. The router with the lowest distance is selected and marked. This time it is R5. We go from router R5 to its neighbor routers R6 and R8 and take note of their distances to R1. Since the new way from R6 via R5 with a distance 11 is worse than the old way via R4 with a distance 9, the entry for R6 is not changed. The router R6 with the lowest distance is selected and marked. We go from R6 to the only neighbor router R7 and take note of its distance to R1. Since the way from R7 via R6 with a distance 13 is worse than the way via R3 with a distance 9, the entry for R7 is not changed. Router R7 has the way with the lowest distance and is marked. We go from router R7 to its only neighbor router R8 and take note of the distance to R1. Since the way from R8 via R7 has the distance 14 and is not better than the way via R5 with the distance 12, the entry for R8 is not changed. And again, a least cost router is selected and marked, this time R8. Now all routers have been marked and therefore the shortest path to R1 have been determined.